Now look, close your eyes. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. I didn't want y'all to see that. I didn't want y'all to see that, man. Boy, Fish and King Hook City TV. You know, I got my main man with me. Hook City. It's about to go down. Hey, y'all forgive me, man. I don't have my microphone today. Crushed my Hero 7. So now I'm using this Hero 8, man. I hope it comes out well for you guys. I'll be getting everything else I need soon. Um, look, I'm out here today, man. I decided that before I leave, I need to show you guys how to make an epic crappie fish sandwich man we're about to run over here to this bridge right here i'm gonna see if i can catch four or five good fish for you then i'm gonna meet y'all in the kitchen for it to go down hey while this intro runs i want y'all to go real quick www.hookcitytv.com bam get you a big bill they come in uh gray and khaki and then come right back man because it's about to go down let's make us an epic crappie fish sandwich let's go baby y'all I'm, I'm gonna make this look quick y'all know exactly what time it is man out here using accs right now i'm gonna have my uh six and a half in my hand y'all go pick you one up using a tungsten jig here from euro tackle and a bait from constant pursuit outfitters listen guys you better find what your best what your best bet is and work it okay all i'm doing is just gonna check out a few of these columns see if i can't pick up a fish or two I actually see a lot of fish down there, but I'm gonna tell you what, man, we're in the summer months and these fish, they are funny acting. Sometimes you have to dead stick. Sometimes you gotta have a minnow, add a minnow, all kinds of different stuff, but we're just gonna see if we can get the attitude changed over here. All right, so that's what I have right there. One and a half inch bait with a minnow head. See if we can change the tune a little bit. Ooh, that was a little no a lot Woo. all right men on here at the cross member all right guys that's what our crappie sandwich is going to consist of right there man and a few more fresh ingredients that we'll go to the store and get here in a minute but this one gonna go in the live well now look close your eyes don't look at this don't look at this don't look at that don't look at that i didn't want y'all to see that i didn't want y'all to see that man Woo. Wait a minute, I didn't, oh Lord. I didn't want y'all to see that. A couple more, man, we're gonna have us a sandwich. Got him? Got that. Is he a tennis shoe? 10 piece hit the grease. Why'd you be a 10 piece? 10 piece hit the grease. I think that's gonna be a baby for real. That's gonna be a baby. Get him up here, Dad. Get him up here. Straight minnow? Ten. Tennis shoe. Oh, 
people. It might be team, Dad. Might be a tin man. come with us y'all y'all see it man fishing bridges to make sandwiches nice. hook yeah. put him on the board he got to go to yeah, he both of them going wasn't no baby though so this one ain't either switch to a little small hand tie man a little extracurricular and he got to oh, go it's 11 inch fish that one got to come with us you got some donkeys in there yeah let me you see what you got you see what you got man let come the on. fish live let them live well who gonna eat you gotta eat, eat them eat them right yeah uh oh my man packed them man what's live. going on baby look pack you say hey to the Dad, camera fish can live yeah we gonna eat them man we gonna put them in our stuff how you gonna feel bad because fish fish are living don't because don't don't explain it to him now. <laughs> wait wait for that rice to be in front of right, him and exactly. then take the fork. I said, no, nah, wait, wait, son. We right, can't, hold on. We can't eat them now. Hold we can't on. do that. We're gonna let them live. Let them live. Man, listen, faith, family, and then Are fishing, man. Listen, some of them fish. right there get to go to another household, man. Are We're gonna hook my boy fish. up, man. Another another solid fisherman, my boy, and his son. You say what's up, man. <laughs> we appreciate Lil Pac coming out too, man. Lil Pac. But yeah, man, listen. We're going to keep four. We're going to let them have the rest, man. Hold yeah, that big one. Know, we get that big one right there. Dude. Either that one or that one. Dad, do you yeah. think I'm strong? Oh, yeah. we know you're strong. I can go tell you're strong. There you go. Pick him up. Hold on. I'm going to get you. Hold get two right of them. Hold that, hold that back. Yep. There you go. Here, put your thumb in. Now put that other thumb put, in that one. other thumb in that one. It's all right. There you go. Right there in the camera. See. Hold it in the camera. Turn him sideways, turn him around, turn him around, dude. Ah! All right. Don't put him down. Yeah, now nah, listen, guys. We're about to get it done, man. I got a, I got a little ride to make it back to the house. Work in the morning. But we're gonna make sure we finish this catch, clean, and cook, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, look, we're back at the house, man. Just like I told you, we're about to make us an epic fish sandwich. Today, we're going to be using crappie y'all saw us man hope y'all enjoyed the fishing portion of it man we do have some really good fish man i got four today only gonna need about three fillets to make one sandwich might even be able to do it with two when you got big boys like this okay listen i know a lot of y'all have seen me make a fish sandwich before last time we used bluegill if you haven't seen that video i'd love for you to check it out you might be able to check the link up top man to see what i did there but this time we're gonna be using crappie and it's going down. Let's get into it. Watch this, first cut. All right, that's the first cut. Second cut, we're gonna place the knife back in the fish and we're gonna to have to kind of give it a little gas and turn at the same time. That's gonna allow us to lay flat on the spine. All right. Once we do that, again, we're just going to run down the length of the fish till we get to the base of the tail. All right, once I get to the base, I don't want to go through the skin. Now, we're going to start our blade and we're going to again turn it flat and go back down the length of this fillet. All right, now, what we have is the rib cage. And you can pretty much trace this rib cage out in what I call a V cut. Making that V cut makes your uh, fillet boneless. So let's do that real quick. Again, following the bones. All right, now we can make a second cut if you want to try to capture all of your uh, belly meat. We got us a boneless fillet. I'm going to knock out the rest of these, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get these in the frying pan. Stay tuned. Guys, I don't do it often, but we will be frying using that uh, cholesterol-free canola oil. Um, I usually would use a cast iron skillet. Today, we're not doing that because we're not cooking as much. It's not gonna take us as long to do that. 
what I don't want to do is let my grease get too hot then we end up cooking the fish too fast crappie is pretty delicate we want to make sure we get a good fry and a golden brown all right y'all since I bought myself some time waiting on the uh, oil um, we're gonna be using a little piece of onion as well as some tomato um, somewhere I got some pickles we'll get that out soon I want to show you this while I'm doing all of this Here's the three fillets I'm gonna be using. I got them pat dried, um, and I wanna make sure they're dry because anytime you fry anything wet, it's gonna pop a lot. So that's that's something for my non-cookers out there. If, you, if you're cooking something that's wet, it's going to pop, and that's a big no-no. Everybody always jumping back from the grease. You're not gonna to have to do that if your stuff is dry, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut real quick. All right, y'all, we got everything we're gonna need to construct. So we're gonna lay that to the side real quick. We're gonna move a little bit quicker because I know my grease is starting to warm up. So we have our, our three fillets that we're gonna be using. I decided to use the thinner fillets. Uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna get a little bit more crunchier. And the bigger fillets, I like to kind of cut into sections anyway so that they fry better. Um, so we're gonna use just a little bit of French's yellow mustard. And look, don't be afraid to get in it. Uh, for those that don't like mustard, I always have people say, well, what if you don't like mustard? Well, listen, it's not going to, you're not going to be able to actually taste this mustard. All right, so yellow cornmeal. And all that uh, mustard is doing is y'all, y'all have heard me say before, it's going to be helping to bind uh, everything together. It's going to help it come all together. And before somebody says, well, Ken, you ain't seasoned it yet. Another thing about fish and Ken, he don't season till after the fish is fried. I've never heard, had anybody tell the difference or tell me anything different about it. So we got two, all right. Hey, let's keep our workspace clean. We're gonna close that back up. We'll throw this kind of junk away. And then we're gonna check the temperature on our, uh, on our uh, grease. All right, we're at 370. Optimal temperatures to fry is between 350 and 375. We're gonna be looking for these uh, fillets to float. Whenever you deep frying, look for them to float. I don't like flipping them and getting, you know, more grease and all that kind of stuff. I like to drop one time, get what we need and be done. So that's what we're about to do. Hey guys, real quick, before I drop those fillets in that hot grease, man, I wanted to make sure that I reminded you guys that we still have the big bills in stock. Cool gray khaki. Get yours today. www.hookcitytv.com. Let's go, baby. Peace. All right, guys. Again, we got everything that like we wanted. We want to shake off just a little bit of the excess. Oh, man. And that's how that grease is supposed to give it to me. I'm supposed to hear a little sizzle. I'm going to do two, man. I'm not going to put all three in there. Ken, how do we know when they're ready? This is a great indication right here. You notice how it's not a whole lot of sizzling going on. Those fillets have actually floated. They've actually floated. You can see them popping back up. And that's what we're looking for. We got that golden brown color. We're gonna go ahead and get these out of here. Ooh, listen. Y'all hear that? All right, we wanna make sure the grease is off and we're gonna go right over here to our paper towel. Now look, from here, I'm gonna take my lemon pepper. Y'all see it, and I just wanna dust these jokers, man. I'm just dusting them. And when I tell you that there's more than enough seasoning, it's probably more on the paper towel than anything. But when Guys, we got our fillets, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, listen. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Just lightly toasted, man. Helmets, I know. Everybody won't tell me about Dukes and all the different kind of mayos. I'm sorry, y'all. At this house, my people are special. They're not gonna be trying nothing different. So I just look. I don't. I don't argue. I just rock with it. Okay. Listen, we finna go and put this thing together, man. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with a little bit of lettuce. Then we're gonna put our onions on next. Then what I did, man, I put a little lemon pepper. Ooh, y'all didn't know nothing about that. I put a little bit of lemon pepper on my uh 
on my tomatoes. All right, now this is the magic. I want y'all to see this, man. I really don't need three, I don't think. Look at the magic, y'all. Oh my goodness. Are y'all seeing this? How do I want to put this one on there? I want to put that one on. Oh, oh my Lord. Watch the secret ingredient, y'all. Ooh, we're going to kick it up or not. We're going to do some kicking, y'all. I thought about hot sauce, but man, we're going to put some of these banana peppers. You know what this reminds me of? Who eat pepper sauce? Or who, who, who have kin folks that used to eat pepper sauce? Man, look, I might even drizzle just a little. I might even just give it a little, little pepper sauce drizzle just for, just for grandmama and them. Woo! Oh my Lord. Y'all, look at that. Y'all, tell me that thing don't look delicious and nutritious. Tell me it done. I dare you to tell me it done. Oh man, y'all. We that right there make your taste buds do jumping jacks. Let's get into the tasting. All right, y'all. All that traveling, all that fishing, all that cleaning and cooking. God, it's taste test time. Heavenly Father, I come to you today to say thank you, Father, for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared and thank you for the money to buy. Lord, I also ask that you provide for those that are less fortunate, that do not have. And Lord, I pray that you bless every person watching this video under the sound of my voice. We thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boy, listen. McDonald's could never. Lisa's chicken could never. Boy, this thing, forgive me for what I'm about to do. Mm. 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 Woo! That right there deserves a round of applause, y'all. I wish every last one of y'all could taste this sandwich right now. It probably ain't but about four more bites to this. It's your boy Fisher King from CDTV. Not you. Peace.